My name is Pat Brennan, I'm PRO, and this is Tony O'Leary, our chairperson. We have a board of directors, we have 10 members from the local community involved. This, I suppose, started off in that, as you can see here, they're doing a magnificent new hospital, basically. And the day room for that hospital was actually out the back of the old place, looking at a stone wall about three feet away from them. So we said as friends, look, that's not acceptable have it out by the car park in the garden so they could see what was going on. And the HSC said, well, sorry, we have no money to do that. So we said, you build it and we'll pay for it. So that is where the 240,000 that we uh, aim to raise, and that's where it's going in the future. Because prior to the Department of Health sanctioning this extension, Bandon Hospital was going to close because that is the trend all over the country. It wouldn't that have, local it, yeah. hospitals are gone. It wasn't meeting HICWA requirements. requirements. And you can see that is actually the building there, the day room, which will be a great asset because up to now all the patients were in dormitories, four and five bedroom rooms, and that's, they could socialise in there. Now they're all going to be in single rooms. So that's where the day room becomes more important because all their social activity will be in the day room. Uh, my name is Joe Quinn and I'm 91 years and I use this hospital facilities quite a bit. I've been to the hospital on three occasions in the last year, a week at a time respite. And uh, I must say I can't speak highly enough of the staff and the way they treat us there. We were treated with great respect and I enjoyed every minute I was there. Of course, yes, indeed it does. And many people, it improves their quality of life, for sure. Absolutely vital, you know, and I think if people have worked and lived in the community all their lives, then it is nice to be able to look after them in their later years. Our target was 240,000 euros and there was a build-up of money there from the previous administration and, and from the friends, but nevertheless the push to get to 240,000 was an enormous task, a big mountain. However, standing here this evening I can, we're glad to say that we have uh, about 220,000 euros in, in the bank, okay? 240,000, we're very, very confident, but we do need that extra push. Again, for the last time, we're asking people to dig a little bit into their pockets, give, and we'll get over the line, and we'd really appreciate it. But in the new facility, there will be 25 beds. That will include a respite facility and also a palliative care facility. And there will also be a room available to uh, family members if they wish to stay overnight to be with their family member. Yeah, and for the first time also, when the new build is open, we, uh, the hospital will be able to take Alzheimer patients. Yes. Which they couldn't take before because of the security aspect of it. So that's yeah. a great plus to the local community. Yeah. I've absolutely loved every minute of us. Glad that we're here with are absolutely fantastic. The fun that Michelle and all the rest of them bring to it absolutely brilliant as well. When you actually realise when they brought us up to the hospital and we got to see the, the work that's actually been put into the place and the, the, the equipment that the people are going to get, it's it's a very, very worthy cause. It's an absolutely amazing cause to be honest with you. My grandmother's up there and the support that she gets from the, the nurses, the doctors, I mean these people break up her chocolate in the size of pieces that she wants. That's give her grapes, whatever she wants, there are two voices. She's absolutely, they're absolutely fantastic. Every time we go up there, they're so accommodating. It's a fantastic event with respect to the, the crack we're having. And it's, a, it's, it's, a, it's great fun. Everyone's enjoying it. And I'm not sure how successful the actual dancing's going to be, but we're going to have some crack on the actual night. Uh, it's generated a fantastic buzz through uh, the town and the wider area and in fact the, uh, the event itself have had to uh, put on a third night, it's, it's all successful. Everybody in, um, in the Strictly, there's 15 couples, everyone has a connection to, to the community hospital. Um, for instance, my mum was born down in the Vanden Community Hospital many years ago. Um, Mrs Megan brought her into the world, yeah, I think she's retired now. And also my grand uncle helped build the, co the community hospital. I suppose I'm being sponsored by the Bandon and Skibbereen Credit Union. It's a great, they're really getting behind the locality, they always get behind local people, they're fantastic. It's a great facility to have in the West Cork area and it's to raise awareness for it and to get the fundraising in lads because they really need it. They need to support their own, we need to support our own. Um, so just get behind it lads, it's going to be a great night. 
disappointed that we didn't pass the auditions far strictly, even though we did try, didn't we, Tony? We did, but like, I know where the problem was, and to be honest, I don't like talking about it. Like, if you practice a bit more, we would have been granted. To be honest with you. <laughs> you know, that I, I had the moves, as you yeah, can see. Yeah, you know? was, yeah. But we sure. said then, we'd leave it to the younger folk. Yes. Yeah. So we want to wish them all the very, very best of luck. And I think what we're going to see is one of the biggest community events that has ever, ever taken place in Bendon. Bandon Community Hospital! Strength!